and welcome back to EKG. <laughs> we are back. Oh, I think, wait. This is the part. Are you turning it up? <laughs> oh. It kind of sucks, though, because it's cloudy. I wish I would have came here during the day. What's wrong with it being cloudy? I don't know. It's not as epic. The landscape doesn't look as cool. What's wrong with cloudy? Well, cloud, uh, everything cloudy is gay. And people named well, it. I like this music. Paul, turn up the game ball. Me and Erica got shut off for a second. <laughs> I told you. Right? Dude, and ah, God, I'm really pissed it's at night because during the day when it's like super sunny, like it looks. I think it looks. Beautiful. Yeah, it, it, I think with, with the music, I don't think it would fit if it was sunny. True. Yeah, no, this is still pretty dope. What the fuck? Alright, we're back. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, that, we through half of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we on. were mesmerized. Sorry, that's all I was gonna say. Um, that's like one of my favorite, like. Transcendental moments in a game. That's see, that's how you do like a cutscene. Yeah. Because that there was nothing to do there. Exactly. Like you were still playing. But you're just yeah, you're playing. But it's all cinematic. Yep. In the way the game's designed, Bloodborne does that really well, and so does Dark Souls. Yeah. Where it's like you're playing through the cutscene. That was basically a cutscene we just played. Yep. And I hope Paul did throw up the timestamp that you could just come back and skip it if you didn't want to see it. But seriously, if you did, just go back and watch it. With the music, it's just that's so well done. That was. A plus. A plus plus there. That right. was awesome. It's like one of my... Oh, I love that moment. Um, so we were talking about the Irish goodbye last episode. Um, yeah, that shit is fucking hilarious. <laughs> where you're like, hey, everybody, yeah. yeah I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> you don't even like... Say, you're just like... All of a sudden, you're just like fly out the See, bathroom. I don't even... I don't even say that. I just do like the yeah, slowly like, back out when like everyone else is in like conversation or like yeah, busy doing something. Yeah, when, when all of a sudden you've realized you're like outside everything, you're like... Yeah. It really helps being a smoker because I can just be like, yeah, I'm going to have a cig. And then like... 20 minutes later, like, after I'm gone, he'll be like, where are you? He'll be like, oh, I left. It's like, I'm at home. I'm like, what? Do I do that all the time. Yeah, the most most times I do that is at uh, family, uh, like, outings and shit like that, and my mom gets so pissed at me. She's like, you couldn't even say bye to your grandma? I'm like, no, because then I would have had to say bye to every living person there. Yeah, right? And that's that takes, like, 12 minutes. Right. Slippery little Mexican. Ah, oh, this is where we meet Landon Ricketts. Hey, Landon Ricketts. I don't remember inviting you to my. Dude, I'm really glad we kept. I don't think you did. I think that was the scene that Paul wanted us to like stay, like keep doing the series until it happened. It was. That was it. Me and Paul loved that. 
That's so well done. Right? Oh, God. That gives me, like, a game design boner. <laughs> right? Because, like, that could have been a cutscene. That was the moment. Th yeah, that was the exact moment we wanted to get to. Yep. Uh, I appreciate it. Like, th this is a good episode to go out on. Because, well, it's... Well, I mean, we're, we're going to come back. Yeah. I, I want to come back to this game. Yeah. But we just need to take a break. It's, it, it, it's going to be a cool cliffhanger with Landon Ricketts, though. Because he's probably the best character in this game, besides John. Nice. Right. This reminds me of like if Eddie Guerrero was in this game. <laughs> oh, I miss Eddie. Rip, right? Oh, Eddie was the man. He was. <laughs> Dick. Right. Look at that Who's guy that? here. Is that him? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I just pulled a U. You're uh, right. I just ruined the thing. Ruined a reveal. But no, um, do at parties. I would. I always do it at like at parties, like you know, house parties, which I haven't been to in a while. So I'm kind of Sam. I don't really miss them. Yeah, I, house parties are. It was, like, they, were hit, eh. they were hit or miss. It always depends on who you went with and what you guys would do. Oh. Oh. Did you shoot him in the dick. <laughs> that wasn't even badass. Oh, very good. <laughs> oh man. Very good indeed, sir. It's David Carradine. Improved border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. An illiterate farmer? Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. But technically, John's a farmer now. I don't know if he's illiterate, though. You become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? What? Right. No wonder you. Many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. <laughs> the best life here in Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home. God, it makes me so mad how much that sounds like David Carradine. I can handle a gun, okay? Do you know, you know what that is? As long as you're no, I'm sorry. Just, I just I like that line. A guy who handles a gun is sloppy as you. Another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do. I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Oh, oh shit. That doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American. Huh? Are they both just fucking with each other? <laughs> right. No, he was actually raised in an orphanage, though. Really? Was he? Yeah. But he's named John Marston. Yeah, but that's, that's like a totally, like, generic name. Well, you won't make so that's just the name they like gave shoot. him at the orphanage because he never, his parents never Thank gave him one. Oh. Now who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Damn, these Landon two are actually Rickens. Landon Rick. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. Oof. Right. Oh. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. That's a cool one. It's the fastest of my Living time. Must have been. All right. I'm the only one left. <laughs> Sorry that we're not talking a lot this episode, but there's a lot of, like, scenes going on. Yeah. I don't know. Th this you, is, like, one of the best parts of the game. for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Esquilo. Williamson. <sighs> right. Esquilo's from here. Son of Will. It could be this whole place is teeming with them, with Americans on the run. See, I'm doing better. I'm staying quiet longer. I've, I've noticed. Well, it, it, def it definitely helps that this is like actually a good like cutscene. Yeah, scene. it never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom, ah, just like the last two or three. Local government. His mustache is also beyond oh. epic. Right. It's like Sam Elliott. Colonel like, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. like, covers his whole mouth. I you know. It's just, it's, it's like he could, like, wiggle it. Like, <laughs> so. How does he eat? Yeah. Until someone he puts parts a it. In his head. <laughs> right. Can you imagine that? Just, like, trying <laughs> to eat it. Parts it. It's like, mm, yeah. He has, like, a little comb <laughs> in his pocket. He's like, mm, yes, yes, yes. Go. Yes. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now God. Now gun. Oh, wait, you have a what now? Yes, now I have the better Deadeye, where I can actually, like, mark it myself instead of just going automatic. Well now, that wasn't so hard, was it? That dude's just sitting at the Come right, on. like, 
drinking. I'm like, nah, this is cool. Ooh. You can shoot a gun five feet next to me. Yeah, right? I'm just gonna <laughs> plastic break, like, lands in his face. It's like, ah, I don't even My eye! It's like, I don't even care anymore. Yeah, like, yeah, lands, like, in his Oh, no! Oh, I said it live! Oh, no! So, if you people don't know, I have a phobia of things, like, going in my eye, and I thought about the glass piercing me. Ah, oh, yeah, now I'm freaking out. Oh! No! It's so gross! Oh, it's so gushy! What happened? What the fuck happened? Oh, dude, the, the PlayStation, like, un it turned powered off. Yeah, so the play- Oh, my- Oh, God! Eric, you're gonna want to talk, too. <laughs> oh, Jesus. break everything! <laughs> yeah, a Gatorade bottle. Anyway, right. um, the, the PS3 just kind of turned off everybody, and we had to quickly stop the recording to make sure we didn't lose the footage. So, join us next time. We're gonna play something else, right? Yeah. yeah well, so. Could be, uh, it'll be a surprise. Don't yeah. want to give any hints away.